Husky is an interesting project. It was actually a collaborative project that existed between the farm that we were working from, Pablo and Rusty is the coffee roaster. Eventually we formed a new entity called Husky, although at the time it was uh, just a standalone idea. And the goal was to try and consider how could we get rid of waste at a farm, including husk amongst other things, but husk became a focus. And how could we get rid of takeaway cups at the cafe end? What we wanted to do was try and work out how we could solve waste with waste. What, what does that look like? And that was the challenge we set ourselves. I'm Saxon Wright. I'm the founder of several businesses focused on sustainability. One of the things that I'm passionate about is actually seeing business create solutions to some of the problems that we uh, find ourselves in. And, and I think business can actually demonstrate to the world that there is a positive future available to us and, and one that's that we can enjoy and also be profitable from. I want to see businesses uh, tackle some of these challenges head on, and I think we can. So the Husky Cup is actually taken from the husk, which is a waste product, from the production of coffee. It's a shell that is on the outside of the bean that gets pulled off and is normally discarded. We take that, we mill it down, and then we've created a biopolymer that we then use to inject and mold to make the cups. So another point about husk which is interesting is that not only is it a waste for a lot of farmers, it's actually a cost for them to remove. We're now buying that husk from them, so it's another income source from a waste product that they didn't even know they had. One thing that was definitely a challenge and took us a while was to work out how do we work with organic materials. So this, is a, this is a new area, so how do we combine different elements to create what is both a, a durable but also a, a, an attractive and functional cup. Um, it's not easy but actually working with other professionals that are, that are really specialised in their fields, coming together, uh, collaborating, enables some pretty amazing outcomes. Creating the product that actually worked as part of a, a system solution was definitely an objective and not an easy one to solve. What does that mean? Uh, we want the cups to be stackable on a machine. They need to be uh, e easy to clean. So one of the ideas we had is actually on the base we've got these three little uh, grooves cut out which enable the water to drain. So when a cup's getting washed in dishwasher multiple times, the water becomes an issue on the floor. So having a little drain solves that problem for baristas. The fins are another key design aspect so that the temperature of the cup doesn't uh, have an impact on the consumer. You can hold them with boiling hot water, no problem. One of the things we were trying to mimic is the takeaway cup lid. So people can put a lid on with one hand. There's no moving parts. Uh, it's easy to clean. So that's something we wanted to carry over into our design. And we wanted the drinking experience to be good. It's one thing to drink out of a cup, but out of a lid, you feel like you, you know, a sippy lid that feels like a kid's cup. How do you drink like a sophisticated adult out of a lid that, that, is, that is a really good experience? So we wanted to bring that into the lid design. Something that's simple that we did in the design process was think about the saucer. We wanted them to be stackable. You can stack these things as high as you like. Another thing is the, there's a little hill that locks in with the base of the cup to create an additional layer of stability. So it's just a little simple touch for a barista that keeps their cup locked onto the saucer. And, and even the way we've actually designed the ridge element of the saucer is that you can put your thumb in and easily pick it up. So even with a coffee that's full, it's very easy to pick up and whisk away without spilling, easy to carry. Again, thinking through the, the, the key user in this, which is the barista. Thinking about design, we want to make sure that the end of life is considered at, at the outset. Good design should include whole of life, and I think we need to move from just designing good products to actually thinking about the broad long-term impacts of our products and how we can deal with them at end of life. We have Husky Cup, which is the, the base product. We have Husky Swap, which is the exchange system for people to participate in at a cafe level. And then we've got Husky Loop, which is the repurposing of any old damaged broken cups we bring back and create new products. Uh, so our goal with these cups is to get them all back. We have a 90 plus percent goal. So we want to get over 90% of our cups back to make into new products. In fact, we've just released a new product, which is a three ounce cup that's just about to hit market, which is made purely of old cups. So for us, the circular aspect, the return process, all of that is really critical in the actual original design phase. So we want to consider that at the outset so that at the end of life, we've already taken that into account and can easily bring them back and create new products. 
So reusables are great and we love that. And people are bringing their own cups in, and the BYO cup. The issue is not having a swap system creates a huge amount of inefficiencies for the barista. So at the bar, the barista has to take the cup, connect it to the order under the, the current COVID conditions, they have to get that washed and take that and then bring it back. Um, and there's a massive disruption to the flow and the mechanics of how a bar operates. With a swap system, it's swap and drop and a barista can just grab a new cup from the top of the machine and out the customer goes with a freshly cleaned cup. Husky is an interesting business, it's a global business. So we were founded in Yunnan in the, in the coffee farms. We've grown up in Sydney, Australia in the coffee scene here, but we're now in over 70 countries globally. And actually what we want to do is see this impact scale. So we want to have a global impact. We want to see waste reduction happen, not just here, not in our own backyard, but, but globally. So how can we do that? How can we take that to the world? So that's our process now. And that's, that's our goal is to expand and actually enable this to be a solution that everyone can take hold of. What I think we need to do is start thinking about waste as a resource. Where's wasted energy? Where's wasted outputs? Where's agricultural waste? What are we doing with that? We can create products with that. We can add value back not only to the producers of the waste, but to the communities that we're part of. How do we join those dots? And certainly with Husky, that's what we've tried to do is to demonstrate that we can deliver value back to farmers. We can increase their incomes and we can increase the profitability of cafes at the same time. Uh, and run a successful business in the middle. So certainly one of the, 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 the joys of running a business like this to see all of those things come together.